You know, the game plan process, I think, is something that, uh, first of all, you, you have to understand who you are. You have to look at your strengths first, what you do well. Try to make certain that you're not doing too much, that you're doing just enough things that you know versus every single look that you get, your guys are going to be able to perform. You know, I think oftentimes uh, that uh, providing game plans, we have too many plays. It's too much stuff. You can't execute them properly. Get things that you know they're going to have a tough time stopping that lend itself to your talents and abilities. And then what you do from there is you start to take a look at the opponent. More often than not, nowadays with film, that they can take a look, they understand what the opposition is doing, etc. Try to break their tendencies down that you know more than likely what you're going to get from them on first and ten and second and ten and so on and so forth down the line all of the different situations and then match that up what they're doing defensively to what you do from an offensive standpoint so then match up your offensive plays in those down and distance situations so that covers down and distance field position as well sometimes when you backed up you have to be a little bit more conservative maybe they add a guy or two in terms of their linebacking core which is going to tell you hey these are the plays we want to run or when you're in the red zone what is it going to take to get us into the end zone right so you look at the things they do and you attack their weaknesses so that's basics the basic philosophy in terms of setting up a game plan